Commander, you look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! Incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What did you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw, you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean Extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. What's our next move? I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. Are you sure it was the joining? I feel fine. Your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind, drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining, Commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, Exogenius should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes Spectres have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Miss Williams, Commander, we need to talk. If we do not resolve this situation now, I am afraid things might become... awkward. Oh, awkward, huh? I hope we can keep this civilized. I do not want things to become unpleasant. Because it's been so pleasant between us lately. Look, somebody in this room needs to make a choice. It ain't me, and it ain't you. Maybe we should try to work this out. I think we must. I may not know much about human relationships, but I understand the concept of jealousy. Jealous? Of you? You're not even our species! Perhaps that is why you feel threatened. I am a rival unlike any you have faced before. Hostility is a common reaction to the unfamiliar. Doctor, you keep smartassing me? I'll show you what my hostile reaction is like. Both of you, settle down. We can handle this like mature adults. This is stupid. We're not married, Shepard. You want to get involved with some alien? Go ahead. It's none of my business. You're special to me, Ash. Yeah? Kinda hard to feel special while you're always chatting with your little blue friend on the side. Or is that my role? This is exactly what I was trying to avoid. 
I never should have told you of my feelings, Shepard. I have put you in a terrible position. I am sorry. You were right to tell me, Liara. I feel the same way. I've heard enough. We're resolving this now, Shepard. Me or her. I never meant for you to get hurt, but Ash is the one I really care about. I understand, Commander. Perhaps it is for the best. She is one of your own kind. I am sure you and Miss Williams will be very happy. I should... go. I need to... check on something. Dear God, I think I actually feel sorry for her. That's a surprise. A second ago you seemed ready to break her neck. Or yours. No one likes to feel like they're not good enough to get what they want. Let's not talk about this here. It's not really the right setting for intimate conversation. You know where to find me. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. Is it the Ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the Council. I'll patch it through to the comm room. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander. But they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option for monitoring developing situations. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. Message coming in. Patching it through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. You need to go groundside and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. Thank <laughs> you.
This is the surveillance drone, but where's the data module? Oh, this will be fun. Guess the little beast had it coming. Personally, I would have just thrown a rock at him. Data module. It's a miracle the data module is still intact. Joker can transmit this info to Alliance Command. I smell trouble!
cover me. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you were in the area. We've got an emergency situation and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are gonna die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out.
take cover! Humanity, you cannot stop the future! I will destroy you! That's it. Bag him and tag him. If I don't hold still, it will all spill out. And then I won't be me anymore. I won't be me if it all spills out. I have to hold still. Where is... Did you see it? It was just here. So beautiful. They come toward you to look at them. Have to look at me. Keep moving and they can't steal your mouth. When I smile, the walls chime. I'm making so much music. They're in my head! All of them! With knives! Where is... Did you see it? It was just here. So beautiful. Can you feel me growing? I'm gonna bring it all! I can't stop it! I can't stop it! It's all spinning away! Where is... Did you see it? It was just here. So beautiful. Bubbles! Bubbles! But when I touch them, I pop! Too much spinning! Message coming in. Patching it through. I didn't think it could be done, Commander. You managed to secure the base and neutralize the biotics without a single civilian casualty. Just doing my job, Admiral. I couldn't let innocent lives be lost. I wish every soldier had your definition of just doing your job. You're a credit to the uniform, Shepard. We're in your debt. Fit fleet out.
Max Commander. Incoming signal from 5th Fleet HQ on the Citadel. Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. What makes this uncomfortable? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. I understand this must be handled. But I don't have anyone trained to deal with this sort of thing, sir. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager cluster. It's in the Voyager cluster? That's the opposite side of the Alliance from Turian space. How did it get there? I don't know. It's possible someone recovered it safely and brought it there. It's also possible it got very badly lost. It could have been wandering the relay network since the war. We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. I appreciate that, Commander. Good luck. The fleet out.
on my way. Mine shaft. That's the source of the signal. Suspicious. Yeah. This thing didn't crash. Somebody moved it here. They may not know what they have. Let's find it before they set it off. Affirmative. Shepard, at last. You have me at a disadvantage. My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? In most criminal organizations, it's the one who's recognized as the most successful. That's correct. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the Verge. You're the one behind the attack on Elysium. I was the motivator, the instigator, the one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed failed. I was ruined when your kind held against the Blitz. What better way to recover my reputation than by eliminating the first human specter? My crew will come for me. Oh, let them. We'll be ready. An Alliance warship would make a fine prize. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, the oars here are laced with heavy metals. I'm afraid your suit radios aren't powerful enough to transmit out. It doesn't have to be like this, Halliot. Empty words from a dead man. Goodbye, Shepard. Orders, Commander. We've got air and light, and the Normandy's still in orbit. Let's look for another way out.
like we've got an active distress beacon on the planet below, Commander. No message, just a locator signal.
Rescuers? Oh, thank God. See? I told you somebody would come to investigate that signal. My name is Dr. Ross, Chief Exogeny Researcher at this facility. We've been trapped in this room for days. We're almost out of food and water. You got here just in time. I need to know what's going on. Why is this place crawling with Thorian creepers? How do you know about the Thorian? I know what Exogeny was up to. I saw what they let the Thorian do to those colonists, so I destroyed it. Our secret's out then. No point in my lying. You already know the worst. The creepers here were created using altered samples from the specimens on Pharos. We discovered a way to turn them into docile, obedient servants. Everything was going fine until a few days ago. Then all the creepers suddenly went berserk. Only a handful of us made it back into the safety of this room. Why didn't you send a clear message asking for help? All we had was that signal from the emergency beacon. This is a closed communications base. Exogeny was worried about someone on the project selling secrets to a rival firm or reporting our work to the authorities. We have no direct communication with the outside, only the emergency beacon. It sends a general distress signal to the Exogeny site on Pharos. They're supposed to send a team to respond inside of 24 hours, but it sounds like they had problems of their own. Any chance some of the other people at the base might still be alive? Hmm, I doubt it. Too many creepers out there. They never stood a chance. We're the only ones left. Any idea why they turned on you? Maybe there was still some kind of link between the creepers and the Thorian back on Pharos. The Thorian was unlike any other life form we've ever studied. I can't explain how, but maybe when it died, it, it somehow set off the creepers here. I've heard all I need to. Look. I know what we did here was wrong. I'll admit that. But it's over now. There's no sense reporting this to the authorities, right? You were in charge of this project. The safety of the staff was your responsibility. They trusted you, and you betrayed that trust. Be reasonable. I didn't mean for this to happen. Besides, how does it help anyone if I end up in jail? Normally Exogeny would have my back, but... It sounds like they're going to have their hands full cleaning up the mess on Pharos. But I've got money. A nice little emergency fund I set up. It's yours if you let us go. The victims here deserve justice. I have to take you in. Uh, that's not going to happen. Open fire. Open fire! Go, go, go! Go, go! All clear.
crawling with them. I guess we don't have to worry about looking for survivors. some action. Log files. The ship was out near the Perseus Vale. Looks like they found some kind of alien artifact. They brought it on board and then... This doesn't make any sense. They plotted a course straight into the Perseus Vale, like they wanted the Geth to find them. What else do the logs say? The entries don't make a lot of sense after that. It's like the captain's mind was falling apart. It doesn't say anything about how the ship got back into human territory. Yeah. The Geth turned them into husks and left the ship where someone would find it, trying to show us what happens to organics dumb enough to enter the Vale. 